So we have a problem. We have a too many toys, not enough room to put them, and two piggy kids <laughs> problem. So we're going to try to solve it by doing some rearranging in the kids' rooms. So let's take a look at what we've currently got. This is Wesley's room. You can see general clutter, all kinds of good stuff, toys everywhere, books everywhere, his little boy stuff. So he's only three, so he doesn't make a giant mess yet. Although, if he does make a mess, we have to help him clean it up. But over here, six-year-old Piggy lives in this room. This is Tori's room. Um, she's got a lot of mess happening. Barbie we, too. Yeah, we have the doll castle, we have Legos, we have stuffies, we've got shelves that just get cluttered with junk. We've got over here Barbie, Lego. The Barbies are always naked. We've probably got dishes under here somewhere. So our experiment is going to be combining their rooms together, putting the bunk beds back together, and having one room that theoretically will stay clean. That's their sleeping room and their clothes room. Then the other room will be all of their toys put it's together. Be Wesley's room. And we're gonna have the bunk beds in here. that can be the disaster room. So the goal is to have one clean room and one disaster room instead of two disaster rooms. We are gonna have two disaster rooms. <laughs> we already have two disaster rooms. So if you have kids and you've been through this, you're probably laughing, saying that is never going to work. We've tried it. It doesn't work. Everything's a disaster all the time. But we're going to try it and see. So it's a good time to move rooms around anyway. You know, it's 100 degrees outside, so why not move rooms around? So we'll see how our experiment fares, see if we actually make some progress in the disaster areas that the kids call rooms. So check back for subsequent parts of moving montages and organizing montages and eventually pictures of one very clean room, hopefully. All right, tune in for our next part. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, you're not me.